friends so far we have studied the deflection by strain energy method we have solved problems on simply supported beam overhanging beam and cantilever beam and we have studied l bend now we will study how to calculate the deflection in portal frames by using strain energy method here the problem is determine the horizontal displacement of the roller end d of the portal frame shown in figure by using the strain energy method here the flexural rigidity ea is given as 8500 kilonewton meter square the end a is the end a of the portal frame that one is on roller on hinge and d is on roller here a to b that is 4 meter b to c that is 3 meter and c to d that is 4 meter here the it is subjected to load at roller d that is 5 kN towards right side we will consider that load p as p equals 5 kN the deflection is towards right side here i have shown the free body diagram of the given beam first we have to consider a section line xx at a distance of x from d in portion dc x is the variable d as origin x varies from 0 at d and it is maximum at c hence the limits are 0 to 4 the bending moment the bending moment to, to this applied load p is p into x that is sagging bending moment hence that is px the flexural rigidity is ei then in portion cb if you consider a section line at a distance of x from p the bending moment due to the load that is p into 4 that one is 4p that one is sagging if you consider a section at a distance of x no other loads except the sagging bending moment 4p hence the bending moment is 4p x is the only variable x varies from 0 to 3 the limits are 0 to 3 the bending moment is 4p and flexural rigidity is ei similarly in the last portion if you consider a section line at a distance of x from b b as the origin the x varies from 0 at b and 4 meter at a hence the limits are 0 to 4 you know that here the effect of this p if you replace this force by force and couple moment at b the force is acting in the same direction as that of p that is towards right side at b in addition to that there is a couple moment that is 4p that one is sagging hence the bending moment is due to this couple moment that is 4p due to this horizontal load that is p into x that is sagging a hugging one is sagging and one is hugging hence 4p minus px due to this moment that is sagging bending moment due to the load that is hugging bending moment now we will calculate the strain energy stored that one is u equals 0 to l m square dx divided by 2ei for the entire frame then that one equals 0 to 4 for the first portion m is px whole square divided by 2 ei into dx for the second portion 0 to 3 here 4 p m is 4 p whole square dx divided by 2 ei for the third portion that is 0 to 4 4 p minus px whole square dx divided by 2 ei then here this one is 
p square divided by 2 ei integration of x square that is within the limits 0 to 4 x square dx for the second portion 16 p square divided by 2 ei integration of dx within the limits 0 to 3 then for the last portion that is 0 to 4 this one is 1 over 2 ei is common if we expand this term that is p square is common this one is 4 square that is 16 minus 2 into x into 4 that is 8x plus x square dx divided by e. 2 ei we have already written hence this one is p square divided by 2 ei if we integrate x square that is x cube by 3 the limits are 0 to 4 plus 16 p square by 2 ei that is 8 p square divided by ei then integration of dx is x the limits are 0 to 3 plus p square divided by 2 ei if we integrate this that is 16 integration of 16 dx that is 16x minus integration of 8x is 8x square by 2 plus integration of x square is x cube by 3 then the limits are 0 to 4 then this one equals 64 p square divided by 2 into 3 ei plus 8 p square divided by ei into 3 plus p square divided by 2 ei this is 16 into 4 64 minus 8 into 8 by 2 4 4 into 16 that is 64 plus 64 by 3 this one is 32 p square divided by 3 ei plus 24 p square divided by ei 64 64 64 cancels this one is 32 p square divided by 3 ei then this one is 3 is 3 then 32 plus 32 plus 32 plus 24 into 3 that is 72 that one is 136 p square divided by 3 ei this one is the total strain energy stored or internal work done in the portal frame that is equation number 1 external work done external work done that one equals half into p into delta that one is equation number 2 when the equilibrium condition is reached both are equal hence by equating external work done and the internal work done or strain energy you will get that is half into p into delta that equals 136 p square divided by 3 ei then here by equating this you will get delta equals 136 into 2 that is 272 p into p p cancel that is p divided by 3 ei this one is the deflection at the and roller end d here we can substitute the value of that is delta d equals 272 into p is 5 divided by yang's mode yeah, flexural rigidity that is 8500 ei then delta d equals that is deflection that one is 0.0533 meters are 
we can write it that is delta d equals 5.33 millimeters this is the solution for the given problem here do you understand this okay we will continue in the next video class